Hello everyone, this is Shadow Slayer X, and we are playing Plague Inc. Evolved. Um, fair warning, I am sick. Um, I said that I wouldn't probably do any recording when sick, but you know what? I was probably going to go ahead and play this game anyways. So I thought, hey, why not record it and see if people like it. So, the point of the game is basically to infect the world and utterly destroy it. Yeah, I know, it sounds a little, uh, macabre, but, uh, yeah, so, you have different plague types, I have, um, and you unlock e the next plague types by beating, like, you start off with bacteria, and then when you beat it, you get virus, then fungus, and the furthest I've got so far is the Nurax worm, which is actually really cool, but I haven't beat the game yet, you can see by these, uh, icons on the right, but, uh, for the purpose of just playing around, Let's start from the beginning. There's a bacteria. And these are genetic codes that can modify your uh, virus, or bacteria, or your deadly disease. And they each do something different. Um, some, I guess you could see these as like cheats or perks. I like perks better than cheats. Um, and I think... Yeah, so I have a few unlocked for this one specifically. Uh, spread pig plague by land, spread plague by air, or by sea. Um, I'm going to go with the sea one for now. And this one is give your plague a bonus in arid climates. And I don't have any of these. Alright, let's continue. So we're going to play a normal. Um, I haven't attempted brutal yet, but the differences are... Uh, this is for new players or those wanting a quick game. No one washes their hands. Researchers, research doctors don't work, and sick people give hugs. Uh, we'll be playing on normal. So this is for experienced genetic strategists. 67.3 people wash hands. Doctors work three days a week, and sick people are ignored. If we were to play it on brutal, this is for strategic geniuses living in concrete bunkers, of course. Uh, compulsive hand washing, doctors never go home, and sick people are locked in prison. And then there's Mega Brutal, for players who thought Brutal was casual. Genetic Drift Impacts Evolution? Okay. Um, doctors invest in research and random medical checkups. So yeah, let's just uh, go play on normal. Alright, so the last one I did was tricks, and before that... Um, since ours is going to be transmittable by water. Let's call it the water demon. Okay. Welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Now, I'm going to preface this with I've heard of a strategy that is almost guaranteed to win. And I might try that if, like, I lose this one and maybe if I lose the second one, just to show you how it works. Um, but, let's uh, select start location, select a country to begin your plague. When you click on it, you can see more information. Pop the start bubble to confirm, or click on another country instead. So, my scroll wheel isn't really working. <sighs> okay. So, I live in Canada somewhere around here although we want to spread our stuff by water so I don't think it matters where you put it but just for uh, for whatever sake we're gonna put it here beautiful the water demon begins in Canada the water demon has infected its first human weak and used to cold temperatures it must evolve using DNA points to infect more people okay so, let's pause this for a second. Hitting spacebar. So, what's on this map? Obviously you see the world. And... What else? These little icons are airplanes. These icons are like shipyards or docks or uh, anything of that like. And then... What else are we missing? You actually see the boats and you actually see the planes as they go around. Uh, at the bottom here, it tells you which country you have selected. 
Um, they're not not every single country's in the game, but most of them are. And then it'll tell you how many are infected, how many are dead. I think this means borders are open. This means uh, docks are open, and this means airports are open. And they can all be closed if your uh, infectious disease is like is noticed, and they like it's really bad. Then they're gonna start lowering all these things. If we double click on a on the country. Um, this means I think the virus is resistance to resistant to cold and the money sign means it's a wealthy country. Uh, tells you how many healthy people are in Canada, how many infected, dead, medical research, how much money is going into it, who's the biggest contributor I think. Uh, these, this is a list, it'll fill up as we play, of what the government is doing or has done. I think this is level of infection I'm not sure and then this is just a representation of the information down here and Canada apparently is business as usual alright so let's let it play out a little bit we're gonna um, increase the speed but I'm waiting till in the bottom left corner here where it says disease um, we're getting points as I think people are being infected so we have two so this is the water demon. Uh, the traits are here. Like oh, they, they don't come up when I hover. Oh well. So uh, daily infections about one a day because we only have two people infected. Uh, oh, this is just the overview page. I don't really spend much time over here. Let's go to transmission. Okay, this part's pretty cool. So um, this these little tiles will be different depending on which virus you have. For instance, some of them won't be always be able to transmit by, or at least through the, via the same way. Like, I could start off with, uh, gives pathogen ability to travel on dust particles, blah, 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 like that. Some people won't start with, or some uh, infectious diseases won't start like that. Although we get to pick whatever we want, when we can afford it. And it tells you the cost right over here, but what we want are the symptoms. So having four DNA points at the beginning allows you to get any of the beginning symptoms. Now they each raise the infectivity or severity or lethality. Now I've played this a few times to know that I think the least severity and most uh, infectivity is coughing, not the Pokemon. So we're gonna evolve that. And if we go into abilities here, um, we can. This is how we increase the eff effectiveness in wealthy countries. So, um, boosting the drug resistance, cold resistance, heat resistance, and the bacteria has a special, um, its own special thing over here, which makes it protect against all climates. So I'm not sure if that negates these two. You don't really need them. So we might go for this and this soon, but we'll see. Let's play out. You have successfully evolved the water demon. You have spent DNA points to evolve your disease, and more options have opened up. Get more points by popping DNA and biohazard bubbles and infecting people. Alright, well, we will do that. And then the news will pop up every once in a while. Um, with events and things going on in the world. So this is going a little slow for my liking. Let's boost the speed a bit. Global recessions to end soon. Alright, well, we're slowly infecting people. Now we need to boost our transmission. Oh, oh pause. That okay, goes two points. Pop orange bu bubbles to get DNA points. Yep. So that will happen every once in a while. It's like your virus is doing well. Okay, so we have seven points. Is that enough? Okay. There we go. So now, since we are the water demon, uh, this is the water one tile. Pathogen can survive outside the body in fresh warm water, increasing infectivity, especially in human environments and ship transmission, which is what we want. Now, the reason I, I like to do the water one is because there are certain places in the world that can only be reached by water. A pandemic, danger exaggerated. 
World Health Experts announced that the global pandemic had, only has a 2.5 chance of wiping out humanity. That's pretty big. 2.5%? Alright, let's go back to Canada. I think we need about 11 or 12 points for Drug Resistance 1, which is what we're going to need soon. Another problem I found with this game is sometimes if you infect a country with a, a smaller population, that it'll get noticed there before it gets noticed in like your bigger country that you picked. Like if you go to China, I think it's got over a billion people, a billion and a half. But if it infects a very smaller, a small place nearby, oh, yeah, oh, jeez. Okay, let's get the drug resistance. So that didn't increase anything, but it will spread faster in wealthier countries. Okay, we can click on this. Philippines. The water demon is spreading from person to person in Canada and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it. Yes, yes we do. Alright. What am I saving up for now? Uh, what's that bacterial... There we go. Now that should really spread in Canada. New health guidelines for rich countries. Rich countries have adopted new health guidelines which will make them less vulnerable to disease. Alright, so it's sort of being noticed. Like, the governments are doing stuff about it. What am I missing? Driver in hospital after a zombie highway accident? Okay. I think we should boost the transmission a bit. How much do I need for that? some symptoms. And there are such things as combos in the game. So for instance, if we evolve nausea, and then it gets to vomiting. Pneumonia, sneezing. Sneezing isn't a half bad one, maybe we'll get that. So we'll do sneezing and then boost the transmission. Or transmission then sneezing. We'll see. And as we see over here, Canada is starting to light up like a Christmas tree. Starting to. I think I really want the air transmission so we can do it via airplane to start really spreading this. Okay, okay. Country information. To find out more about a country, click the country name at the bottom screen to open the country menu. Yes, I know that. Alright. I think once we get a couple hundred people, we'll get something like, oh, it's spread to hundreds of people. Yeah. Keep evolving your disease. Yeah, that's the plan. Just playing the waiting game. Come on. How much is. Whoops. How much is seven points? Canada celebrates the festival of love. Fans praise replacement for International Kissing Day. Critics question hygiene standards. Now, there is something I can do with that one. There is a transmission. I think it's this one, blood one. It gives organism ability to spread through blood-to-blood -blood contact, increases infectivity, especially in poor regions and mutation chains. I thought there was one that had kissing. I am incorrect. Never mind. I thought it was this one. Never mind. Play me sounding like I'm an expert at something. Jeez, come on. Alright, well, we are 3,000 plus. Severe storm strike Madagascar. Yeah, I think I really need the infectivity more than I need more symptoms. The water demon has infected thousands of Canada. People are being infected faster and faster. Good. Canada has a nice population. Come on, I need more points. 
demon has mutated and developed a vomiting symptom without using DNA points. Yes, that can definitely happen. Now, if we hit the devolve button and you look down here, you'll see how much it did give you. So the infectivity went up and the severity went up, which is fine, I guess. No, let's not devolve it. And if you do devolve it with this one, you get two DNA points back. But not all um, infectious diseases will refund you. Some of them cost to get rid of something that's mutated. Found that out the hard way with the uh, Nurax worm the first time I played with it. I really need... I really need one of these ships to infect... Oh, sweet. The water demon spreads to the USA. USA has been infected. Your disease has taken an important step in becoming a plague. When a new country is infected, pop the red bulb to get bonus DNA. Heck yes. That's actually great for my first place to infect. It's just it's just as populous as Canada, if not more. And they both have water and air. Um, they both have airports and shipyards to infect other countries. If I can only get one more point. Oh, okay. Uh, projectile vomiting symptom combo. Coughing and vomiting are causing the infected to projectile vomit, increasing the infectivity of the water demon. Now, uh, th that, these are combos, and there's a whole bunch of them. Um, they're really cool, and they really boost certain things. Some are good, some are bad. Like, some increase research speed, and some decrease research speed. Um, but what I really want to point to is, see this this very thin, faint red dotted line that is led from the shipyard from Canada, and I think it's going to the UK. That is an infected ship. Oh, it didn't go to the UK, it went to Russia. That's okay. That's another huge country. And that's given us enough points to boost the transmission, which is a huge infectivity bonus. Boom. Okay. Yep, the water demon is infecting more countries. That was Central America. Excellent. Let's bring down the speed slightly. Okay. How much is water to? 17? Okay. Okay, what I really want is these tiny little places get infected. Like the Caribbean, Madagascar, all the ones down here. Oh, there we go. Boom. So we, that line was, I, I didn't, I missed the first one, but the second one flew from Canada to the UK infected. Excellent. Kazakhstan, okay, and Canada is almost, it's really getting there. The water demon has infected more people in the world than TB, it's a very infectious disease. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oop. What was that? Korea? How do I get to Korea? Oh, I guess through Russia and China's not infected. Saudi Arabia's infected. It's going quite well. Ah, in a normal check of a doctor in Canada found a new disease which has been named the Water Demon. It appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting the disease. Yeah, Canada is almost fully, uh, Infected, so I'm not surprised that's happening. Alright, so that's China, and that's enough for water too. And hopefully, we'll be getting these little countries soon. Tip World menu contains useful data. Now the water demon is beginning to spread around the world. Use the world data menu bottom right to see which countries are not infected. Oh, yeah, I forgot to click on. No, I didn't. So over here. Oh, cool. I didn't even know this was this before. Okay. So this is the world, um, obviously the blue countries are fine, red are infected, and if they were black, if any were black, they'd be dead. 
So, let's move along. Okay, that's Baltic States. Come on, we need to get these little countries. Oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta pause. Too many. How much is air to? 17. Okay. Actually, let's do... Now, if I remember the combo correctly, we do livestock one as well. Oh, Kira is the first to instruct doctors to begin research on a cure of the water deep. But without greater funding, it is expected to take a long time. Okay. So that does mean our time is limited. 16. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, perfect. Russia lighting up like a Christmas tree. More infectious than HIV. The water demon has infected more people around the world than HIV. It is an extremely infectious disease. Yes, yes it is. Although it's not as infectious as I want it to be. Okay, hold on. I spoke too soon. Perfect, I didn't even notice this place. These two are hard to get. Hey, we got air too. How much is extreme bio aerosol? It's 22. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so just a few more points. Perfect. Okay, I think I have all the transmission I'm going to need now to do symptoms and abilities. We're going to have to get, uh, this is genetic hardening, so the pathogen becomes harder to analyze in lab, decreasing future research speed. It's only 9 points, so we should probably get that next. Charities are holding the Water Demon Awareness Day to raise the profile of the disease and encouraging the development of a cure. So we definitely have a big web here. The anemia symptom? What is the anemia symptom? I might not want that one. Oh, that's fine. Okay, continue. So we haven't infected these little places yet. Starting to get Africa, South America, I think all of South America just got infected. Let us do pneumonia. And di diarrhea. Sneezing. Boom. Oh crud. The first death. This is going to boost the uh, speed of the research. Oh, which I forgot to get genetic hardening for. Ooh. More infectious than the common cold. It's the ultimate disease. Oh, sweet. We got... Okay. I think I put too many points into abilities. Forgot about genetic hardening. Okay, continue. I'm pressing pause every time I see uh, some pop up. Oh jeez, I got so many points. Uh, no, I need to save up for that. 25 points. Was that Madagascar? Yeah. People are dying in Madagascar faster than people are being infected. That can't be true. Okay, yes it can. Could get drug resistance too, but I think I've targeted all the wealthy countries. Let's just do that for now. Germany has become the first country to try to limit the spread of the water demon by limiting access into and out of the country. It's a little late. Uh, just a few 
like very small places. Alright. We have 21 points. Should we save up for our drug resistance? Maybe pop a bacterial resistance. Because I think that'll work on these countries too. I think I'm missing, I'm trying to remember the combo. It's not that one. Oh, I think it's insomnia. No. Is it? I'm gonna get these anyway. Might get a combo. I can't remember. Oh, I did get it! Yes! The water demon has similar symptoms to swine flu. Doctors researching the cure are wasting time looking into cures for swine flu. Cure will take longer. Yes. Uh, water demon has mutated and developed pulmonary pulmonary edema symptom without using DNA points. Cool. I think I think I needed that one actually. No, I didn't need it. But. So this increases death. That greatly increases death. So it's cheaper. The water demon place on watch lists. Mexico leading the global cure effort. Great. So now the airplanes start going back and forth. There are two ways to fight development of the cure. Evolve aggressive symptoms to destroy countries more noticeable, or evolve cure resistance, which is the less noticeable. Yes, pop the blue cure bubbles to stop cure speeding up. Perfect. I want to infect a few more countries before I... Nope, that's everyone. Okay. So now... I have 61 points. Let's... I really want to boost the infectivity more, but... I don't want to waste points if I don't have to on certain things. Dysentery. If I can get... That's a lot of points, though. Let's do immune suppression. So the pathogen attaches lymphocytes, suppressing immune system and allowing significantly greater freedom of mutation. Can be lethal. Well, that's what we want. And then this one, total organ failure. Catastrophic cell death of multiple tissue types causes body-wide organ failure and rapid death. Uh, if we combine that, 27, 36. Um... The problem we could run into is that we start killing faster than we infect for the countries that are not fully infected, but this should kill the people who are doing the cure. So let's do that. Ooh, jeez. This might be bad. And go. And the numbers start going. Okay, sweet. You guys are being infected pretty quick. Research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Now, it could boost transmission there. Actually, I'm going to do dysentery. A complete breakdown of the digestive system causes infected sewage, dehydration, starvation, and death. Okay. I could do insanity. I might save up for that. Oh jeez, killed more than the Black Death. New statistics show the water demon has killed over 75 million people worldwide. Yep. And as sad as it sounds, I am aiming to kill Mexico first because they are leading the world effort on curing this disease. New stats show that the water demon has killed over 120 million worse than Spanish flu. Iceland begins to break down. Iceland's a little one. Normal life in Iceland beginning to break down due to the water demon cure. Or the water demon cure research is starting to slow. Water demon has mutated and developed the hypersensitivity symptom. Actually, let's check that out. Where's the 
triggers hypersensitivity. Oh, it's probably this one. Increases likelihood of allergic reactions, which can distract the immune system. Rich, re rich regions, particularly vulnerable. That wasn't a huge one anyway. That's fine. Actually, let's go back to abilities. Genetic reshuffle. I should save up for this. So the pathogen DNA strips reassemble. More work needed to develop the cure. So what it does is when you buy it, it ticks this down from maybe like 5, 6, 7 percent. Alright, yeah, we're worse than smallpox, killing over 300 million. Although we should be... yeah. The cure effort's gonna be stopping soon. So much so that... Let's screw them up. Oh cool. Insomnia and anemia are causing people to walk around grey with tiredness. Scientists working on the cure for the water demon are less productive. That's awesome. We have two uh, combos that are making it less productive. Not the fact that everyone's dying. As you can see, the shades of red are also uh, getting darker as the populations are dwindling. Cure for the water demon is over 50%. Whatever. Total in insanity. Neuropathic action of the pathogen in the frontal cortex causes severe emotional and behavior abnormalities. Significantly harder to cure. Done. Baltic states in anarchy. They are the first to fall into anarchy due to the water demon. No cure can take place. Perfect. Let's screw them up a bit more with another genetic reshuffle. Mexico, are you still leading the effort? Let's double click. Uh, they don't have much money into the researching. Oh, look at all the stuff they've done here. Let's. So they did four research foot digs, dispensing bottled water, livestock movements banned, face masks distributed, more researching, they killed all their livestock, alerted a pandemic, infectious disease teams, closed the ports, they have corpse disposal, more research, closed their borders, more research, more research, finally closed airports. Prioritize healthcare for infected. All public buildings closed. Curfews in place. National emergency announced. And using mass graves. Yikes, they're at level 6 here. With 85% of their population knocked out. That's crazy. Now I'm worried. Oh, crud. So, the problem that these countries have Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Angola is that. They, the disease killed all the infected people before. So I don't know what to do now. I know once I develop this stuff, that they'll catch on. I'm gonna do it anyway. See if insects can travel. Yep, so I reinfected Botswana. Stop researching, you guys are done. Oh crud. I think we're gonna lose. Because if I'm correct, the only way to win is to actually wipe out the whole world. Diarrhea and insanity are causing the people to defecate in public and everywhere else. Everyone is increasingly focused on developing a cure. Well, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get 28 points, I don't think. Yep, I think the game is coming to a close. So let's speed up all the way. So right now, all we're doing is pretty much waiting for the infected countries to die out. What I can do... I could get rid of one of these get the lethality down a bit, but I think there's no way to you 
USA still going? No, they're gone. Canada's gone. Who's still alive? A few places. Brazil. How do I spread to these guys? Ah, uh, well. We got a, a decent score for me. <laughs> Having three of these go across. Uh, I don't think you win though. Yeah, it's defeat. Because you have to infect the whole world and take out everybody. So let's see what we got here. So there's 917 days. What, that's just three years ish? That's not bad. Like, we practically wiped out the world in, th in three years. Uh, genetic complexity, we were a very complex disease. Cure progress, didn't even make it halfway. We were bacteria, normal game, uh, normal difficulty. We got three out of five biohazards. And difficulty was normal. Well, so right over here you can watch your whole game and like super fast forward. And the days are going by at the bottom here and you can see this is when Canada starts infecting the whole world. I should have called the disease like thank you or I'm sorry. I like the water demon though. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so that is Plague Inc. Evolved. I think this was originally an app for the phones. Or mobile devices, I should say. Um, but they have the PC version. I don't think it's for Mac. So they have their own PC version, and they are, I think it's in beta, or not beta, but it's in early development or whatever. So they are adding stuff to it all the time. Um, but yeah, so this was the bacteria. We didn't win, but maybe next episode, I'll show you one of the strategies that I've seen. Um, I don't think I've tested it out yet, so yeah, I can't believe it. Really just, ugh. Just you guys. So, how do these people, like, oh, I don't even get it. They stopped mosquitoes. They stopped livestock. They can't drink water. The the dust in the air will infect them. So rather they be, they did, they're not even immune. They just are like recluses who like live in huts. Well, like, well, that might not be so far from the truth, but they just like live nowhere near civilization and the disease never reached them Ugh. well it did because it killed some of them but it didn't stick around alright well this is a shadow slayer x who is still sick Ugh, hopefully it, it, it wasn't too annoying but whatever this is just for fun I was gonna play it anyways so I'll see you next time <laughs>